Welcome back to the channel for episode 7 of Enfield of Dreams for the season review here with Enfield Town. Been a good season. We won the league. We go up as champions. Really, really happy with that. Of course, pre-season predictions was for us to be relegated. There's only one relegation spot in this league this season as well. And um, needless to say, we really did exceed expectations. So uh, we got a lot of transfers in. As you can see, uh, Carrington, Fowl, Onan, Asante, Kennedy, Kerr, Corrigan, Hewlett, Tomlinson, Dickerson, uh, Abdi, Sharif, ADB, uh, Alassani, Spence, Colin, Zach Smith, Kingsley, Murray, Burt, White and Alex Petrovic. Signing off this season was Jaden Onan. I can't complain with that one bit. Foul. Okay. He averaged pretty well. Carrington. I mean, he's got a release fleet cause of uh, £30,000. Which is a little bit... Okay. Kennedy, yep. Good good deal. Corrigan went to pre... I mean, this this gets me. He was a plus. Didn't exactly overperform. Dickerson... Apologies about the little bark that made it in there. So if we have a look at the season results, we only lost one game. And you actually saw that, where we were away against Welling. And uh, yeah, a little bit of cheating involved there, in my opinion. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it and you'll see what I mean. But yeah, other than that, we drew eight games. 0-0 at Hunter Maidstone. 3-3 Tom Ridgewell. Some of them were really entertaining ones. 4-4 at uh, Haven and Waterlooville. 2-2 two -two at Ebbsfleet. The other ones were 1-1s. One -ones. And then all the wins... Uh, we had some spectacular wins in there. As you can see, uh, what we got, we got 3 0, we got 3 2, we've got uh, 3 2 there, 3 0, 4 1, 4 3, 5 0, we're home to Chelmsford, 5 2. What else we had? Uh, 3 3 there, 4 2, 3 2 again, 3 1, 2 0. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, now, Goals conceded, we did concede a lot. I'm um, uh, yeah, quite disappointed with the amount of goals we did concede. Um, unfortunately, we can't see the replay of that. It would, oh, I guess we can. Let's have a look at this one. This is one of Fowl's goals. I think it was the opening goal. So uh, let's have a look at that. So we'll see Bath take the lead first of all. Is this a game that we? Is this the game that we that you watched? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is, because, I rem yeah, I remember playing this quite recently. Yeah, Kennedy, Collins, Kerr, Foul. That was a lovely goal, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, that was quite recently, yeah. Nice, so we have a look at finances, everything's up, because this is the first season, of course, so why wouldn't it be? This is how we lined up, so the 4-3-3 that we've done all season... Dickerson, Corrigan, Collins, Tomlinson, McQueen, A to B, Kennedy, and Onan, Foul. Yeah, can't really complain with that at all. Uh, we got a few awards. So we got um, Manager of the Month for August and January and for April's. So, um, yeah, a little bit of back and forth here and there. Top goal scorer was Asante. Top assist was Eddie Carrington. Player of the match was Asante, Carrington, A to B, most... Passes completed per 90 minutes. 57. Not too bad, I guess. And then record breakers. All of these, again, are going to be record breakers, aren't they? So, um, history in the making. Remarkable season, indeed. Now, I've been through everything else. Expectations for next season are to avoid relegation. Now, not fight bravely against relegation. Just avoid relegation. So, should we get relegated? We probably will be sacked. But... I don't think we will be. I think we've got a good foundation. We've got summer transfers already lined up. And I'll show you those in just a sec. And then long term, they just want to remain in the National League, which we obviously want to do a bit better than that, which is, uh, yeah. But the way we play is favoured, but it's not that important. But what is important is that we work within the wage budget, which I think will be okay for this season. Now, at the minute, we are spending well over. But this is really about to come down because of the amount of players that are going to be leaving. So if we have a look at the squad as it is now. These are with some 
new contracts. So Asante is on the transfer list at his own request. We've got Carrington, who has recently signed a new deal. Corrigan as well. Care, Aidby. Um, Alassani is going to be leaving. Fowl is unhappy as well. So he probably won't sign a new deal. Uh, Spence we're going to get rid of. Uh, Sharif is going to be leaving as well, potentially. And Onan, of course, already signed until 2024, which is really, really nice. Now, can we can we extend this loan yet? Can we? Yes, we can. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, that sucks. What about Tomlinson? It's probably going to be the same, isn't it? Oh, we can't, actually. Oh, he's only got a short time left on his contract. So that is someone we've got to have a look at. Definitely. So do we make an offer? Like, right away. Okay, so they're going to want that. Okay. So maybe we wait to see what happens with uh, Tomlinson. Because we might be able to get him on a... On a permanent contract. And then you've got Collins, who's probably going to leave as well. But that is the plans in a minute. So quite a lot of wage budget is going to be leaving. And it is going to be replaced by these players. Now we've got five. Um, Sonny Perkins is um, still negotiating. We've got Harvey Godsmark Ford. Uh, coming in from Leicester, who's a uh, centre back, who can also play right back. Got Lewis Byron from Chester, who again can cover in numerous positions. Alfie Payne, we looked at him earlier on in the um, in the uh, season, and uh, Kian Pennant is uh, could be the foul replacement. But um, I guess we'll see. But obviously, we're going to be signing a lot more players than these. So uh, yeah. Watch this space. We'll go forward a little bit. We'll see what comes about. And I will bring you back to show you what happens. Well, not a lot of stuff has really happened uh, since you were last with me. But let's just recap on how the Premier League went. Because Liverpool actually ended up winning it. Now, the last few fixtures of... The the season so FC United dropped points at Wolves at this point Man United work uh, level on points with them on um, 83 points I think FC United were on 83 points Liverpool might have had a game in hand that's probably why they've just all of a sudden overtook but then after that Liverpool did beat Manchester United so that must mean they would have over overtaken them and then on the last game of the season FC United beat Crystal Palace 3-0 uh, Liverpool won 3 0, and Manchester United. I can't even see them. Oh, they're there. They beat Leeds 2 1. Okay. But, yeah, odd. But Liverpool win the league. And I don't think Deschamps will be sacked for that, but, yeah, he only. Um, I think they only won the Carabao Cup and the Club World Championship as well, which is pretty good. But in terms of everyone else's positions, um,. Goals, we uh, will have a look at this because there's quite a few of regions from last year that are here. So Ibarra Leeds scored 20, not bad. Uh, Gianluca Esposito, 17. Britos for Everton. Uh, Guerrero for Arsenal. And he scored 16. Okay. Luke Hume only scored 14. Now that, you know, appearances, that's why. You know, 15 appearances, 14 goals. It's not really too bad, is it? I expect better next season. Roberto's in there and Dominic Calvert. -Lew. Kelso Young for Palace got 12. He didn't play every game, but but Palace did all right, I think. Okay, so I think it's fair to say the dog was not very happy with me showing you all that, but there we go. We'll, we'll move on from it. It's all good. Now, um, our free transfers are in. Five, to be specific. Uh, some of that we've actually paid for. Two of them we've paid for. But as you can see, very disappointed with Alfie Payne. He comes in as an extra, um, as a you know last resort backup. But then the others, I guess, aren't too bad. Obviously, these guys will get better as the uh, as it goes on. Have a look at ability. I mean, a few of them. I mean, a few of them will won't be too bad. I mean, Byron. He can possibly be our new right back. Obviously, he can play there as well, which is handy. We've got this guy who's, 
you know, another option in both right back and central defence. Uh, with Collins pro probably leaving, he'll probably slot into his old position. So there is that. Now, um, we got manager of the year, which I'm really happy about as well. And uh, Mr. White, very happy with me uh, winning it as well. Now, what I'm going to have to do, you can probably tell my voice is going a bit. So I'm going to have to like split like the clips a little bit more. Obviously, I'm jumping in and out with different clips as I'm recording it. But what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to come back to this in a day or two and um, see how we're feeling. So don't really want to drag on too much while my voice is like this. So um, for you, it'll just be a matter of seconds, but we'll be back. We are back and uh, so is my voice, as you can uh, probably tell. It's still a little bit here and there but overall it is much much better now really appreciate um your uh, recent comments or one comment that i've had uh, to say get some rest uh, very much appreciated and uh, yeah i've just had a tough weekend back at work and somehow i'm feeling better for it i mean i was still live a little bit um under the weather over the weekend but overall monday i'm feeling a lot better now i'm still coughing a bit and my voice is still here and there but overall much much better so let's continue with this transfer special um, i'm not sure what the date was when we um did the last clip but um as you can see welling are the team to join us in the national league next season um i guess we'll uh, have a look to see how they got there first of all so if we have a look at the schedule for them, Peter Taylor's in charge of them as well, which is um, really awesome to see. Can we, I mean, first round of the playoffs. So Dartford beat Ebbsfleet. I mean, Ebbsfleet were pre-season favourites to go up and um, did well in the end, really, to make the playoffs, I'd say. Uh, so first round, Dartford beat Ebbsfleet and Haven't and Waterlooville beat Bath. So then semi-final, Welling beat Darford and Heaven and Waterloo will beat Oxford City. That is not the right one. And then the final, so Welling beat Haven and Waterloo. So awesome stuff. So at least there's a team in there we know we can beat next season. So it's all good. Now with those signings, I think most of them are actually going to be um, somewhat useful for us. Um, the only issue is uh, the board are really not happy with the Alfie Payne deal. Now, if you've watched um, like street uh, like saves and like things in the past, you'll know this chap is actually not bad, not a bad player. So, but we'll see how he gets on. He's going to slot into midfield as a backup. I mean, he's expecting to play as a backup, which is uh, all good. He is wanted. That is not nice. That is not good. We, I think, can we time down to a new contract? Yeah, right. We got to make sure that this does not include a release fee. It does. Matched highest earner clause. Oh my god, this guy's going to want a lot, isn't he? See, that wage, that wage. Promotion wage rise as well. Oh my god, he's wanting way too much. Uh, no, we're going to have to put that up a bit. I mean, that is still a lot. That's still not a lot of money, really. Put your agent fee up a little bit. Was that? Will you, will you take that? No, you're not going to want that. That's okay, I guess. <sighs> Sugar. What's that? Mm. And we're not going to get a lot of money for him anyway, because he's wanting a sell-on percentage. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, well, he's going to cost us an arm and a leg to keep him, but I think overall he probably will be worth it. I mean, he's... What is he? He's literally quadrupling that. And that is going to really... I mean, look at that. That's just mad. So even if it was to change everything into wages, we don't have a lot of spare wage budget after that. But don't forget, we've still got players leaving. So uh, that, there is that to still consider. But we'll hit continue and uh, I guess I'll bring you back when there's some news to bring you is the Jordan I that was signed from for Bournemouth for £15 million. And it's saying he's a leading Vanarama national player. Eh? That just does not seem right to me. It is literally the very same. If you look at his stats, that is... Uh, it, 
I'm just speechless. I just, I just don't understand that one bit. I mean, my either he is actually rubbish or my scouts are absolute crap. I really don't. I mean, we're not going to sign him anyway, but it just seems weird they would actually come up on a report and his transfer interest is dubious. I mean, he wants he wants way too much money than what we're able to offer. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you back for that. But what we'll do, we'll come back when all the players have been released that we're going to release. And uh, we've got a few players to show you as well. So, watch this space. Okay, a few other bits to bring you before we get to the free transfers. I have been offered and accepted a brand new two-year contract. Um, I'm now up to £925 a week, which is really, really nice. We've um, been given season expectations to finish mid-table. So um, let's have a look to see what we are being predicted. I mean, that is pretty much my table, isn't it? 14th. If we have a look in the Dream 11, there's no one there of ours. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Sutton and Hartlepool are the ones that got relegated. Fair enough. Then Darlington and Gloucester join me and Welling. Fair enough. Nelson. Nelson. How did Nelson get on last season? Where is he? Is he even here? Is he even here? Yeah, he is. How did he get on? He's actually uh, rated quite highly. I mean, oh, he must have signed a new deal. Damn it. Got 13 and 40 in the National North. Ugh. What wonders with him. Should Asante leave? That's our man to go for. But it's probably not going to happen, is it? Now, um, we did offer new contracts to... Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where? Oh, yeah, I've... He must still be in the under-21s, under-18s even. Uh, but we have got Ryan Dickerson on a new deal. Um, same wage, so that's the only reason why I've decided to keep him on. It's a goalkeeper, which we could... Could we trust? I'm really not sure, to be perfectly honest. But I need to go into the under-18s because I got a new deal for... Why is he down here? He shouldn't be down here. Mr. Pennant. Uh, this guy, uh, Petrovic, um, his uh, potential went up to four stars. So I thought, you know what, we'll um, we'll keep you around. We've also put in an offer to loan Ollie Tomlinson back. I mean, probably not even worth me trying for Kennedy, but you know, I can keep trying, I guess. But that's it so far. Transfers, we do have a few um, ongoing negotiations. We've got a offer in for a new scout. Um, who's actually, is he going to come in as director of football? Or, no, I think he's just going to come in as a scout. He's got pretty good scouting ability. So if he comes in, we could find ourselves some really, really awesome players. And that would be really nice. We do have a few offers in out going for the minute. And Tom Hadler, we looked at this guy earlier in the season from Maidstone, would come in and be our best goalkeeper. So he would definitely fill that gap. We've got Ben Erickson. We had this guy for FC United last year. Did a decent job for us. So he is going to be coming in. That is definitely confirmed. We've already discussed the Ollie Tomlinson deal. Josh uh, Galloway coming in on a free transfer from Leeds. Gives us another option up front and on the wing. I mean, he's probably not going to be a striker, is he? With a finish in a six. Yeah, if I could cancel that one now, I probably would. But there's also Jamie Insel. Now, I'm not sure where this chap's been in the past. Um, mainly Wales. Oh, he's been around a little bit. He's been done the journey, been around England, Scotland and Wales. But, you know, he's actually not done too bad for Connor, Connor's Quay there in the uh, Coimu Premier. And uh, he's going to be coming into us. He uh, looks like a decent player. Finishing between 12 and 18. And, um, yeah, I think he'll, um, I think he'll fit in all right. Um, this might mean that Carrington moves over to the left, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, because he can play there, he's decent there, he's decent on the right, and um, he of course has a place here until the end of next season, and yeah, I think we've got a good core, it's just the defence, which we obviously need to improve on, I mean, this guy I'm already looking at as a poor signing, Byron I think will be okay, but um, Ericsson coming in is going to be good. And I don't know what we're going to do with Collins, to be perfectly honest. So I guess we'll just have to see. Okay, new signings are in. Uh, we've just, we're have just we just going to attend the press conference to confirm them. Uh, I always just skip through that and just hope that they like me. 
Anyway, let's have a quick look at the transfers. Now, so far, you would have seen Jamie Insull already. Josh Galloway comes in from Leeds. Can of, well, I mean, we've already discussed this. Potentially, he's not going to be great, but he's only on a contract until the end of the season. So, he's probably going to be one of the backup wingers, especially on that right hand side. Two other signings come in. Ben Erickson. We knew this guy was going to be decent for us. I thought he'd be a bit better than that, I'm going to be honest. But we, um, you know, we've had previous with Ben before. So I think he will actually be okay. Uh, another sign-in, Tom Hadler, comes in from Maidstone on a free transfer. Will come in as the first choice goalkeeper. Definitely an upgrade in that department. So that now leads us with a first team squad of 22, 23, 21. Okay. I say that because Kennedy is still here. <laughs> I'm really happy that he's uh, we've managed to extend his loan. Colchester had a change of heart. And yeah, that's great. We've still got him. So he's going to be key. Obviously, we've got Ollie Tomlinson as well. Collins, not sure what's going to happen with him. If he leaves on a free transfer, he leaves on a free transfer. And with all that, we're still over the wage budget. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I really don't know why. I don't know how I've managed to do that. I mean, with the 3rd of July, there's loads of tree free transfers available. And we're over the wage budget already. Yeah, I don't know how I've done that. Probably got something to do with these three players. Mainly Onan, because of all the money he wanted. But he's worth it, I think. I think he is worth it. I mean, I don't know what we're going to be doing with some of these contracts come the end of this season, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see, really. But anywho, I mean, we can't afford anyone now, so I really don't know what the best cause of action is here. I mean, he definitely does want to leave. But we haven't got anyone to come in and replace him. I mean, Insul could play there, to be fair. I mean, his stats aren't bad. I mean, if we compare them... Uh, I would have th I th thought he would have been all, all there already. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's literally... He's better in some areas. He's better in some areas. It looks like Asante is actually better, to be fair. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm uh, kind of regretting the decision to get him now. He's costing us a hell of a lot of money. We could have bought, we could have had two, three, four plays with that kind of money. Oh dear, that's on me. Oh dear, but I mean, I guess there's no harm in like looking at um, like the uh, trialists and stuff. I mean, this guy looks pretty good, but we can't afford him. Here you get, I mean, no, not any of these. South, south, south. That's my doorbell. I may have to go and get that. I mean, could we, have, could we afford this guy? No, we can't, unfortunately. I mean, he's actually all right. Lewis Warrington. I see, I see this guy around in quite a lot of saves. We'll scout him. No, no. No. I really didn't want to do it, but Enoch Asante has left. He's gone to South End for forty thousand pounds. And because of these stupid clauses that I put in, he's got twenty grand of it. He's got half of it. Because I didn't I, I wanted to get him on a lower wage and I didn't think we'd have to sell him at any point. So that's on me again. And um Yeah. I mean he wanted to leave. But with that, we have now got a little bit of wage budget now. We've got like 1,200 because we actually sold a youth player as well. I'll show you that. Francis Davis went to Leighton Orient under 18s. And he, I think he was paid like 150 quid a week. So that deal itself actually put us under the wage budget by like 12 pounds. Yay. But then we got rid of Asante. But now that gives us room in the squat, in the wage budget... To be able to go out and sign two, three, maybe four more players of pot oh, pot 
potential. I mean, if you have a look at the potential in the squad, it is actually pretty, pretty good. The only player letting us down in that respect is Alfie Payne, which, again, is on me. But at the end of the day, I think we've made some really good acquis um, acquisitions here. I mean, we know he'll be our goalkeeper. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do about right back. Obviously, it's not going to be Garcia. Uh, I'm torn between Tomlinson and Byron at the moment. But we do have another potential loan signing from Norwich, who is really, really going to help the defence. Uh, Lewis Shipley, uh, he comes in, he will, I mean, he can even play left back, which is awesome because we need another player that can play left back because at the minute we've really only got Corrigan, if you uh, have a look at the squad depth. I mean, we've got Collins and Petrovic as well, but they're not going to be any significance there, really. We've got Kennedy, who, if we don't get uh, Shipley in, he'll probably have to go to centre-back. But we're, we're really good in midfield anyway, so that wouldn't necessarily be much of an issue because we've got Onan, Kerr and Aidby. And Alfie Payne, of course. So there's that. But obviously, we've got a big gap up front now, so we need to fill that gap as well. So yeah, this could be interesting. Okay, some good and bad news to bring you. We'll start with the bad news, and that's Tom Hadler's going to be up between four and five weeks. Um... Injured after sprinting, he's injured his calf, the silly sod. So that leaves us a little bit light in goal, unfortunately. Another bit of bad news, we could potentially be going well over the wage budget. But the good news is, it would be going for a good cause because of the trialist we bought in. Now, we have confirmed the loan signing of Lewis Shipley, which is awesome. Really, really happy with that. But we've also gone in... For these four players. Now, thinking about it now, I should have really gone in for this guy as well. If I was to go in for him now, then we probably wouldn't be able to get... Oh. He says that... See, what I've been doing, I've been offering them more signing on fees. Because we've got the money in the bank to do it. See, I'm getting rid of the promotion wage rise. Just because some of these are actually on, like... I mean, that's another that that's that'll be a really good pickup if we can get him. But um, Billy Comatillo, uh, formerly of Liverpool, uh, Lewis Langstaff, who would be an awesome replacement for uh, Asante, also a Liverpool youngster. Casper uh, Curry Loez could maybe have done better with that. Um, formerly of Spurs, Ben Hockenhall, formerly of Brentford. And Jeremy Kryzu. Kryzu, I think that's how you say it. Also formerly of Spurs. So if we can get a few of these players, I'm hoping, I mean, selfishly, I'm hoping for all five. But if we can get two, maybe three, I'm hoping sp mainly for Langstaff. But I'm thinking it, it's possible that we could get them. Season preview now has us in sixth place. And I don't know, I don't, really don't know why, because we've sold our best player, or one of our best players, and now they've got us higher in the list. I really don't get, I mean, if we can sign all five all five of these, then playoffs are an absolute minimum. Absolutely. Watch this space. As you can see, we've got Hockenhall and Kumeteo. But not Langstaff. That is the one that irritates me the most. That's the one I wanted the most. But damn it, older shot. I mean, are, are we're predicted to finish above them, aren't we? We are. We are? We are. No, we're not. We might have been. Or Hartlepool might have signed another player. But we were sixth. Oh, god damn it. That is the, that is the player I wanted. But we're getting Kumateo and we're getting Hockenhall. So defence is going to be absolutely fine. Um, I mean, we've had, I think there's someone that have gone in for him as well. Uh, Aldershaw, Aldershaw again. And Bradford Wickham and Eps Ed Wickham have gone in for him. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably get a little bit of backlash because of the um, the win bonuses. 
I mean, we're probably not going to win the league anyway, so what are you complaining about? Ugh. Let's hit continue. Let's hit continue. We'll seal the move for Hockenhall, who's a pretty good defender. We're good with that. I mean, we've got a lot of... I mean, in terms of a striker, we have to look at loans now, I think. Because I'm not going to be able to sign anyone, like, on a permanent deal. I have to have a look at loans. Just, like, any. For a striker. And we've just got to hope we can, um, we can sign one. I mean, this guy looks alright, doesn't he? I mean, they want a wage contribution, and we're not in a position to do it. Uh, what about you? I mean, you would, again, fit the bill, potentially. You want money. We haven't got money to give you. Why is it when you don't have the money, they want money, but then when you have the money, they say, oh, no, it's fine, you can have him. Have him for free, we'll cover the wages. That reminds me, we have a... Um, Things out with Wickham, don't we? Uh, probably not. It probably wouldn't go anywhere. Joe Hardy. Is there any way you can actually search for players that for loans that don't require a wage contribution? If you can't, you definitely should be able to. What about you? No. See, it's getting. Going too far down now, aren't we? But Bobby Duncan. Are you? Are you I mean, knowing Derby, they're probably going to want... They only want 10%. They want 10%. We can't even afford 10%. I mean, yeah, that's down to me. I know. But ugh, it's just so frustrating. I mean, this guy. I mean, I mean, it's not worth learning from Barrow. Because they're, they're the same league as us. Uh, we'll f we'll find one. We'll find a striker. We we will find a striker. We will. Well, after all this screwing about with thinking we're going to potentially be two and a half grand over the wage budget, we're probably not going to be over the wage budget at all now, because Kumateo is unwilling to join without a work. I mean, I wouldn't want him with without a work permit either. But yeah, um, if we have a look at finances now, I mean, potentially we are still going to be over it. But that is with the potential signing. Is it just one, or is it two? Just this guy. I mean, we're definitely not getting him now. So, we're just waiting on him. And he's got a few teams in for him as well. So, it's very possible that we're still going to be within the budget. So, um, yeah. Because that includes this other chap coming in. So, I think, while we're waiting, we get um, more trialists in and we try and do what we did before try and sign as many as possible or go in for as many as possible because we're less than two weeks before the season starts because we do kick off from the 30th of july which is at home to darlington we could be lining up against nelson and yeah i think we'll do both of these games because away against older shot because they've got Lewis Langstaff and Longstaff and we wanted him. We really did want him. He would have he would have been so good for us. And then he's probably going to score against us, isn't he? No, no luck. But um, another bit of news. Obviously, Kryzhu didn't come in either. He actually went to Wickham. And funny thing, we actually played Wickham recently, and um, he actually got booked. <laughs> so yeah, um, this could be interesting. But, I mean, am I even able to offer contracts? If we... Say, if I just go to unattached again. And just go to that instead of loans. Am I able to offer any contracts? Would I be able to? Potentially... No, I can't. So, we wait. I think we wait to see what's happening with... I mean, it's not Timmy. It's not Tammy. It's Timmy. I mean, what would you want? We want midfielders. There's definitely not that. That I'm willing to do. I'm not going to do that because I made that same mistake with Asante. We'll improve the coaching team. No. But 
yeah, we can't we can't afford it yet. Afford him anyway yet. But potentially we would be a, we could. Potentially we could afford him. We've just got to see what's happening with this goalkeeper. I mean, could we potentially get another goalkeeper in on trial? I mean, all those trialists we had have all finished now. I mean, what about this guy? Kings Lynn. We'll see. We will see, but... I mean, I can't even see any goalkeepers at all. Let's, um... Oh, might be why, because I've only got strikers <laughs> listed. Oh, silly, silly sausage. See, there's him. There's him. Who's not that great. Adam Collin, who's old. Tom Smith. I mean, we could maybe cancel the deal. If I was to cancel the deal, would I then be able to offer numerous contracts? Possibly. Oh, we've got transfer budget. I didn't even see that. Right, how much we got? Right. So, the, I, you know, I lit, I've literally only just seen that. I am so stupid. Right, let's clear that. And let's get a whole bunch of trialists in again, I think. I mean, most of these are wanted. I'm not really interested in him now. I mean, he wanted too much money anyway. But now, if we look at the squad, we are now looking okay. I mean, with the exception of Hadler being injured, we could actually be all right in terms of uh, central defence. Because we've got Shipley and we've got Hockenall, who I'm more than happy with. A defensive midfield, I think we have to stick with Aidby, because he was really good for us before. We'll have... I mean, we could even use Kennedy in defence if we need him to. We have Kerr, we have Onan, who's going to be playing on the right as the Mazala. We have Kerr, who we'll put, as, we'll put there. And then we have a few options up front. Perkins, Insult and Pennant. And of course we have Carrington. He's carrying a small knock, but he will be fine. But this isn't looking as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I mean, we still need a few num few bodies in, definitely. I mean, I'm probably just going to look to put Byron out on the right wing, right um, fullback, and there's Kennedy as well still, who 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 himself could play right back. Not granted, not as well, but not as well as he plays in other positions. But he would probably still be the best right back of the club. Yeah, so that is one good player there. So, yeah, midfield is literally the only position we've not needed to strengthen. The defence is looking a lot better. I'm really happy with that. Um, with the exception of Byron, of course. I'm happy with Corrigan out on the left fullback position. And uh, Hockenall and Shipley in defence. More than happy with that. It's a massive upgrade to last season. So, depending on what your... See, that's a lot of money. You're going. That'll clear more money. I mean, granted, it won't be £500 a week. It will be significantly less than that. But... I mean, we're looking at like 1500 quid now. That we've got a spare wage budget. So we're going to definitely look at trying to exploit it where we sign numerous players. And I think we need to. Because there's a few positions we need, still need a bit of strength and depth. I would ideally like another centre-back. I mean, granted, we've got Shipley, Hockenall and Eriksson. Oh, we've got Tomlinson as well. So maybe not. And him as well, who can cover uh, right-back and uh, centre-back. So in that respect, we might be okay. Central midfield, I'm more than happy with. That is absolutely fine. I would like a right-back and I want a striker. And what about what about wingers? Right wing, I think you probably be okay out on the wing. Crossing's okay, dribbling, first touch is okay, passing. I think I think he will be fine. If we can get an upgrade, 
then that would be ideal. But also we've got Key and Pennant, who, I guess, yeah, his stats aren't great, are they? Acceleration's pretty good. But, you know, it, it'll we'll have to see. But we need a striker. We definitely need a striker. This guy, finishing, is actually not too bad. So maybe we go with him if we don't get one. But I'm, com I'm a bit more confident now than what I was 10 minutes ago. So that's good. So we'll have a look for some more sign-ins. We'll probably have a look, look at another look. Oh, now we've got that spare wage budget. Are we able to now get that loan player in that we were after? Because... Wasn't that... But was it Bobby Duncan that we could get for, like, loan? Oh, now they want the full 100%. That's typical. That is absolutely typical, isn't it? So annoying when that happens. See, there was this guy as well. Yeah. We'll see. We'll have to come back to it and uh, have a look. I expected this to happen, um, him to sign somewhere else and not with us. I actually expected him to go to Older Shop, but uh, it's all good. But we did get some more trialists in, and we have offered more contracts out. So what I'm thinking is, you might be able to wait, break the wage budget if you've got the players already in on trial. And I'm guessing that's probably what we're going to do anyway. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as what it was before, I don't think. I mean, it probably is probably about the same. But, yeah, so potential incomings. Now, you're not seeing him on here because we never got him in on trial, but we're getting in Abraham. Not Tammy Abraham. Timmy Abraham. We have got an offer accepted with him. He is, I mean, he's available on a free transfer, first of all. So we have offered him a contract, and hopefully he will sign it, and he'll become our new Asante. That would be great. So the guys that we are got in on trial that we're offering contracts to, Connor Stanley, we already know about. He's you've seen him about in a quite a few saves. Um, Keenan Appar Forson, another goalkeeper. Do not try not. Do not ask me to try and pronounce that. And Bernardo Rosa, who is Brazilian, and everybody loves a Brazilian. So those are the four in four. If we can get a few of them, that would be great. Especially Connor Stanley, I'm hoping for. So Timmy Abraham will come in up front. Connor Stanley will fill in as a backup on both wings. Another option in midfield with Apia. I think that's how you say his name. And um, Rosa in uh, at right back. There's also this guy. Uh, another uh, Robinson. He was at Man City. Um, is it worth trying to go in for him as well, possibly? Yeah, possibly. See if we can get him on a lower contract. Give you a two grand. Nope. Give you a bit more. There you go. Good boy. So there we go. So hopefully those signings come in. And I'm pretty sure we'll be wrapping up this transfer special very, very soon. It's just not going to happen, is it? We're never going to get our striker. Timmy Abraham went to Hartlepool instead. I mean, I guess I can't really blame him, really. But there we go. But with that, we have actually gone in for Jerome Sinclair again. He he accepted the offer we've um, put forward to him. But um, Northampton and Tranmere Rovers have also offered him a contract as well. So potentially he won't be coming in either. So there is that. I believe both of these are in the league above. So there's the chance that we won't get him either. So there we go. But if we have a look at the overall squad now, uh, we'll have a look through the tactics screen because it looks like this is what we're going to be going with in the opening game against Darlington. We're, we're literally there now. We're like three hours before kickoff. So, yeah, uh, Mestney, I'm going to go with that. Corrigan, Hockenhall, Shipley and Byron. Aidby, Kennedy and Onan. So, same midfield three as last season. Carrington, Stanley and Insal up front. And... Uh, we got a better position? Possibly. No. That is it. But yeah, I'm not exactly brimming with confidence. But I think overall, it is a better team than last season. We haven't got a Sante. We unfortunately didn't get 
Um, Langstaff, was it Langstaff? Somebody Langstaff? Who went to Aldershot instead? Was it a Langstaff? I swear it was a Langstaff. Lewis Langst Longstaff, I thought it was. But there we go. I mean, look, his value is pretty high, isn't it? That's annoying. That's annoying. Can we get him on loan? Can we get him on loan? No. I mean, would he even be interested in coming in on that? It's probably not going to happen anyway. Now, wage budget-wise. Without that signing of... Well, look. Without the signing of Sinclair, we're actually within the wage budget. So, I'm just... I'm at a loss, really, what to do. Because it's just... I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. You know, do we cancel the deal for Sinclair and maybe go for a different striker? I mean, why? Oh, it's because he's a... Right, I get it now. I get it now. So I just don't know what to do. But I think overall we are in a better position than we were this time last year. I mean, we're in the league above. I mean, pre-season prediction now has us eighth. So not in the playoffs. But yeah, I'm just a little bit annoyed we didn't get, you know, that top defender, Galinkia, whatever his name was, and Longstaff. I mean, if we got both of them, plus one or two others, I think we could really be on for a good season. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments about how you feel this transfer special was gone. Really appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you drop a like. Please do subscribe as well if you happen to be new. And like I always say, thanks again for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. Ciao for now. Parker does.